I'm sure there are moments when King Arthur regretted pulling the sword from the stone. But he never gave up his quest. So why did you? Or have you already found the traveler that you and the less fortunate members of Veritas were looking for? The traveler. Why doesn't it surprise me that you've fallen for Patricia Swan's vivid imaginings? I didn't imagine the deaths of Virgil Swan or Oliver Queen's parents. You think I can control the fate of individuals? Oh, God. You give me too much credit. You certainly controlled mine. It wasn't an accident we were in Smallville the day of the meteor shower, was it? The factory was just a cover. You were really there to meet this traveler that Veritas wanted to protect. I remember everything, Dad. Those are the memories of a small boy in shock trying to cope with the trauma of a meteor shower. A trauma brought on by my own father. My life changed forever that day. You sacrificed me for the traveler. Right. Your life truly changed that day. I told you in the helicopter that you were destined for a great future. That's why I've been so hard on you, trained you so relentlessly. Think, Lex, think. You have survived mortal injuries so many times. How else can you explain it? Because I was trained never to accept defeat. When I get my hands in that box in Zurich, I have a feeling all my questions will be answered. Lex. I know how strong it is. The attraction of the dark power. But it will destroy you. I can't let you go down that terrible path. You must not open that box. I can't open it. Because I need a second key. Give it to me. I've swept every possible place you could have hidden it. I finally realized there's only one person you would trust it with. Yourself. Lex. Lex, if you open that box, if you get hold of that secret, there will be no redemption for you. No redemption, ever. I was raised in your shadow. Now you're gonna die in mine. No one will even remember your name. Oh. 